Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Beginning of Destiny. In this episode, I'm gonna head to the store because outside of recording, I grinded up quite a bit of DP. Enough for 16 booster packs, so let's go to the store. Okay, looking good. We actually have more packs now. Endless Thoughts. Oh, continuous trap cards. I guess I can get stuff like Call of the Haunted in there. That's nice. And, oh right! I have the Double Triple Destiny Draw. This pack gives me, well, it can give me access to Pot of Greed. Which back then, it was limited. Which means I have a good chance of getting it. And, well, it's also got a high rate, well, high pull rate in this game. So I have a really, really, really good chance of pulling it. And the rest I'm going to spend on probably the... Yeah, I'm just going to spend the rest of my DP on this pack. Just because I really need the... Um, I really need Rhoda. So, what am I going to get? Harpy Lady stuff, yada yada. Uh, elegant e Egotist. Pretty good card, though. Actually, really good card. Okay. Harpy Fat Dragon... I guess that's fine. Another elegant e gets. Come on, game. Just give me what I ah, dang it. Fusion weapon. Uh, ready for some. Why did I get that? I could have gotten Rota from that. Oh well. Oh, Diddy Sailor's actually pretty darn good. Phoenix Blade. Come on. Ah. No. Why do I keep getting that card? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Nothing good from there yet. Drop-off is actually pretty decent. Uh, oh, wait! Cards of Safe Return is actually stupid, but I don't think it was good till later. And Offerings of the Doomed. Eh, that's not too great, because it cuts me on my draw. Okay, I didn't get what I was looking for, but hey, I did get some interesting stuff like DD Assailant, which will be really helpful. So anyway, uh, let's get out of here. Alright, now let's just talk to these three guys. Hey, Jaden, what's up? The Golden Egg, which is mine. Uh -huh, sorry to tell you this, Jaden, but it's mine. Uh, wait, did I already talk to you last episode, I believe? Yeah, I think I already did talk to these three, so I guess let's just end this day. And this day is going to come to an end. Got uh, quite a bit done. Now it is the 4th. And... What exactly can I do today? I guess I can go see Jaden really quick. Just to get their friendship up. Alright, hey Jaden, what's up? Oh yeah, I'm feeling good today. Gabriel, get your game on! <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk about duels. Ah, uh, just... Your Okay, still had an okay talk, that, which is nice. Hi, Cyrus. Uh, talk. Morning, Gabriel. Yada, yeah, let's talk about... Hobbies? Oh, nice! I got the good from... Well, I got the great talk from him. That's really nice. Uh, Chumley? Uh, let's talk about the Academy, I guess? Okay, just the usual. Okay, looking good so far. Okay, um, now I guess let's just head to class, because I kind of want to advance a few days. Let's go. Banner's on research, so I'll teach alchemy today. Uh, Chancellor, you know alchemy? I thought we already been through this. Yes, yes, we have already been through this. But, uh, I guess I'll just give you all a free period today. Oh, okay, that sounds good. Am I still learning anything? Why do I keep getting free periods? Alright, we're done with today's lessons. As a present, I'm giving everyone cards. Black Pendant, that's okay, kinda. There are some of the equipments I have right now. Mash Driver is apparently really dumb if you can keep special summoning. It's an FTK enabler. I believe it's banned right now. Uh, Yellow Luster Shield, that's meh. Shrink? That can come in handy. Umi? Decent. Seven Tools of the Bandit will come in handy. I know for, that's that for a fact. Because trap cards in this game are really, really, really annoying to deal with sometimes. This is before Nolan start playing traps. Anyway, hi Alexis, how are you? Are you in today's lessons? Or are you going to get detention? <laughs> eh, good one. Uh, let's talk about duels, please. I'm sorry! 
Okay, uh, let's make it up to her by giving her the tofu sandwich, I guess? Oh, okay. Yeah, she likes that. Uh, do I have any other sandwiches? Okay, I could give her the egg witch, but I'm saving that for a rainy day. Uh, here's the plain one, because I know she actually enjoys this one as well. Okay. Okay, that might have made it up for... It made things right with her, so that's good. Anyway, I guess... Hmm, I'm debating just ending the day, but I do want to head to the store just to talk to the guys. I also want to check out my status really quick to see... Because uh, if you go to the store and everything, you can kind of see your status for um, where you're at with your friends and everything. So I'll just go and talk to her. Yes, I'd like to look, look at cards. Okay, good. I'm still at my at maximum friendship with Alexis. That's good. Uh, let's quickly talk to Jaden really quick. Because um, I can still talk to him again. So let's talk about duels. Okay, good. Just the usual. Glad I didn't pick the bad option. Hi, Cyrus again. Um, what the dump are you going on about, Cyrus? Okay, anyway. Uh, hobbies? Is that oh my gosh, I got two good ones. Of good ones, of Cyrus. That's interesting. Anyway, uh, hi, Chumley. They sell 48 different packs here. And, oh yeah, the one that can go for like 5,000 DP is apparently in the Konami code one. I didn't show that off yet. I need to, uh, Academy? Okay, usual. Okay, anyway, let's go end today off, I guess. Hey, Bastion, what's up, dude? Gabriel? Ah, uh, you just broke my concentration. What do you want? Okay, you're being a bit hostile, not gonna lie, but, uh, uh, let's talk about duels? Oh, just the usual. Ah, dang it, that was just an okay talk. Yeah, trying to initiate certain things can be a little bit rough. Or, like, trying to get them to befriend you, in a sense, is just tough and... Uh, we'll get onto this guy eventually. I, I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Yeah. Okay, let's end today off. Yee. Okay, now it is May 5th. So far, things have been going really well. Kinda. And let's go check on the Stooges again. I know this is seeming a little bit repetitive, but trust me, we'll, once this once we're done with all the talking and everything, it'll be a lot better. And I should've been talking during the loading screen instead of standing still, because I'm kind of wasting time that way. Anyway, hi, Jaden. Yep, doing good. Uh, let's talk about duels, I guess? Okay. I'm scared, because sometimes when you talk to du with Jaden about duels, for some reason, it doesn't end that well, and I don't know, and I don't know why. I might have just had bad luck with that. Uh, let's talk about the Academy. Oh, good! I got a good... Um, one there. That's nice. Um, talk to him about hobbies? Okay. No, they're just the usual. Okay, let's head to class. Wait, are we getting the same one again? Okay, I'm definitely gonna insert one of my own. Okay, yeah. For some reason, a lot of these events have a dumb tendency to repeat themselves they're completely rng whether which one you get so uh yeah uh chancellor once again is banner out on a trip yes he most likely is i don't know why though he's been seeming kind of odd lately that's really really weird again can i learn anything in this school Okay, class, we're done with that repetitive lesson again. As a present, I'm giving you all a card. Oh, Shallow Grave is actually really, really good for certain flip effect monsters in the form of... Well, it's really good for helping out cards like Cyber Jar and Morphing Jar. This card is dumb, and I love it. Dark Factory Mass Production, good for normal monster decks. Rope of Spirit is interesting. Damage Condenser is... Ah, eh, great, another repetitive lesson. Hey, Alexis, how are you? Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's talk to her about... Academy? Please, please. Oh, good. I got a... Okay, talk. Whew, I do not want to get another repeat of the last one. Of the last one. Uh, let's just go. Oh, gosh, the lag! Okay. Hi, Zane. What's up, dude? Hmm. I'm sorry, I was just thinking about my brother. <laughs> uh, I... 
But uh, let's talk about duels, please. Oh, oh, you'll listen. Oh, wait, I, that was a great talk. Huh? I didn't take it that Zane was lonely. <laughs> okay, then let's go talk to Jaden again really quick. I love this shop. They've got everything. I even come by even when I've got no DP. <laughs> yeah. I know how you feel, Jaden. Uh, let's talk about duels, please. Don't be mad. Okay, good. Uh, just the usual. Okay, good. Uh, let's talk to Chumley again. Probably the same result will happen. Yep, yep. I've already read that one. Uh, hobbies? Just the usual. And I believe the same will go for Cyrus. Uh, let's talk about Academy. Oh! Good, I had, a, I had a good talk with him. That's actually really nice. Okay, anyway, let's head back and probably end this day off too because there's not much going on right now and I'm kind of waiting to duel till Sunday for a good reason. Let's -a go. Alrighty, let's end off today. Okay, six. Oh, wait, I got an email. Oh, please let this be good, please. Oh, wait. You have... Oh, wait, I'm just going to read this. Uh, you have been selected as a recommended duelist. Show this congrats email to the professor standing in front of the classroom, and you'll receive DP. This will be invalid after today. I need to... Okay, anytime you get an email like that from Shepard, you need to make sure you go and cash it in, because you get 1,000 DP, which is amazing, and that's good enough for 10 booster packs. Hoo boy, let's go. Alrighty, let's go talk to this guy who's up here. Uh, my name's Dean. The fire rages in my soul when it comes to teaching. You're a transfer student, right? If you got selected as a recommended duel, speak up. Yes, I was selected, sir. Alright, now show me your congrats email. Yep, you got it. Alright, here's your 1,000 DP. Spend it wisely. And, yeah. Thank you, sir, but we're not gonna spend it quite yet, because we're just going to advance the time. To just see the, yeah, to the classroom. Let's go. Oh, nice, a new event, finally. Oh, we have a new friend today. Hello, I'm Fonda Fontaine. Fontaine. Nice to meet you. Now let's begin class. Hi, kids, today for PE. Uh, it's volleyball again, isn't it? Yeah, Professor Fontaine loves foot volleyball. We'll have a marathon, one lap around the island. Oh, what's starting now? i rather have volleyball! Then let's do volleyball! Yay! She's ingenious. What about today's lesson? As a present, I'll give everyone cards again! Okay, Little Swordsman of Isle. Uh, that's not too great. Man of Aqua, already have it. Mother Grizzly. Amphibious Berg. Oh, wait, that card has a fusion? Okay. Starboy, which is actually really nice. Unshaven Angler can be pretty helpful, depending on the monster for it. It's got good stats as well, so that's nice. Alright, now that that class is over, I realize we haven't talked to Alexis's two friends. So let's talk to... Um, what do you want? I'm Jasmine. Oh, you're a transfer student? You're not bothering Alexis, are you? Uh, no, I'm not Jasmine. Okay. And... Oh, a transfer student? I'm Mindy. I give you C minus. Oh, jeez, come on. Uh, you're just admiring. Uh, no. Okay, anyway, let's go talk to Alexis. Being today's lesson, get or yeah, whatever. Uh, duels, please. Okay, I'm sorry. Jeez. All right, let's go. Okay, back into the booster packs. So what I'm gonna do is. Okay, I'm gonna buy five of these packs. Yeah, that makes five. Perfect. And then I'm gonna buy five of these. Because I really want Pot of Greed. Before, um, Sunday. So please give it to me. So, this pack, Harpy, yada yada yada. Ah, uh, dang it, just a pet dragon. Um, please, something good. <gasps> yes! Finally! I finally got Rhoda at long stinking last. I really, really needed that card. Can I get another one, please? Dang it. Okay. That's fine. As long as I got Rhoda, I'm 
completely happy. Good goblin housekeeping. I don't think that's good. Okay. Oh, card destruction is actually really nice. Oh, protector of the sanctuary. What the crud is that? Huh. And jar of greed. That card can be pretty decent. It's not that great, but ooh, time seal. What does that do? Skip the draw phase of your opponent's next turn. That actually can be kind of helpful. Not gonna lie. Uh, protector of the sanctuary. When this card is face up on the field, your opponent cannot draw a card except. Your okay, that ca that's interesting. Card destruction, though, that is amazing. And getting reinforcements of the army as well is just glorious. So let's go and probably end off today. Alright, I forgot that I need to talk to these guys. Hey, Jaden. I love this shop. Yada yada, I know you've said that. Uh, please don't. Oh, good. That's a great talk. Yeah, there's something I wanted to tell you. Okay, so aiming at duels right now has been a good has been good so far. And now let's talk to you, Cyrus. Shopping's fun. I like buy today. Beats me, dude. Uh hobbies okay that's just a okay talk which is fine and finally chumley they sell 48 different packs yep i know that uh academy oh sorry dude i am very sorry Jeez. okay uh let's go back to our dorm okay so i did quite a few adjustments to this deck so first of all what i did is i added in a lot more warriors into it in the form of DD Assailant, Warrior Lady, uh, Wild Heart, Sparkman, Clayman, and DD Warrior. Just because they'll be really nice at banishing, well, either banishing or just replacing certain monsters that needed to be replaced. On top of that, I put in cards like Card Destruction for new hand purposes. Seven Tools of the Bandit to stop trap cards. Uh, this guy just as a nice beater. Um, reinforcements of the army so I can draw stuff. Karma Cut because it's super good at removal in this game. And Jar of Greed. Just so this game, this deck is a little bit of a more 40, um, one card, not 41, uh, 39 card deck. So, yeah, that's about it for that. So, let's actually go into the, um, next day. Alright, let's end the day off. And now it is Sunday, and every Sunday, it's Tag Duel Day. And your tag partner will be, well, will depend on the character with the highest amount of friendship you have right now. Currently, Alexis is the character I have the highest amount of friendship with, so she and I will participate in a tag duel. So let's -a go, Alexis! Ah, yes, the tag duel area. I love this laggy mess just because, well, there are a lot of duelists I haven't fought yet. And this is the perfect time to, well, duel some more people. So let's go duel these Slifer Reds, because I believe these are kind of the easiest people to duel with. Or are they difficult? I can't remember, honestly, so let's just duel them. Hey, I'm Michael. What's up? A duel? Sure. Okay, going for rock. Please? Okay, good. Uh, in this case, I kind of want to go first, because if you go second, turn order will be really odd. Though sometimes going second works. And, okay. Let's rock. Okay, so Alexis will be the one going first. And, okay, just setting her war Wandering Warrior waste of the Wasteland face down and passing, that's okay. Um, okay, that guy's just setting a couple stuff face down as well, but, okay, I actually have a pretty okay hand. So I'm going to activate Rhoda, so I can add DD Assailant to my hand, because not only does it have the ability to banish, like DD Warrior Lady, but... Oh, wait, it's only if it's... yeah. Um, it has the same effect, so I don't know why this card didn't see as much play as Warrior Lady. Maybe it's because it was locked with certain rarity. Okay, that's annoying. I knew I should have summoned my colored fish, but oh well, it's fine. Uh, dude's gonna summon Gear Free. That's annoying. Oh! Oh crud, that's actually really annoying. Yeah. I forgot he had this version of Gear Freed. Okay, but the thing is... Oh, right, that's... Oh, that's right. Alexis, for some reason, has attack and receive in her deck. So, yeah, he'll get decked for 700, and my assailant's effect will activate, banishing both of our monsters. Alexis is gonna draw. Ooh, she has. She drew a DD Warrior Lady. That's actually really nice. Dude's gonna draw. Uh, set one and pass, of course. Luckily, I can now summon. Actually, I'm gonna summon 
blindly loyal goblin because you never know when the enemy is going to have a creature swap face down. Not face down. Well, if they're ever going to have a creature swap. And what does that do? But she's only in blast. What? Oh, crud. That's... I forgot that's what that does. And that's a coin flip. Okay, what the dump just happened? I didn't really comprehend what just happened there, but... Oh, well. Okay, if Alexis draws polymerization... Uh, of course she doesn't. Um... Oh, right, that's... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. The opponent won't be able to target Blade Skater now. Oh! That's actually really nice that she was able to blow that guy up. And... Okay, Alexis is actually pulling through big time here. Well done. Okay, that dude's gonna... Ah, oh, of course, hammer shot. Okay, good. That guy didn't have anything um, annoying to use. So in this case, I'm gonna go and summon my seven colored fish. Because seven colored fish has a good amount of attack points and should be able to blow up whatever. Yeah, that's... What does that steel scorpion do? Oh, I think it kills my monster after the second turn it attacked, but... I don't have to really have to worry about that. Okay, I'm gonna pass for now. Oh, it's my seven colored fish has a few turns to live. That's annoying. Okay, he's well, she's gonna draw. Okay, F12 Cyber will help out quite a bit. Okay, you got lucky, Alexis, that Um You didn't mess that up. And okay, looking good. These guys are really low. One more. Direct attack from seven colored fish will end things off, but sadly my fish might die this turn. Uh, okay, wait, my fish is alive. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna summon my Kabazulas. Hi, I'm sorry if I botched that name. Um, yeah, let's go take down that monster and um, finish off them. Finish them off with seven colored fish because he only has one day to live. So let's finish them. Booyah! That went really well. Oh, we lost. And, oh my gosh, I got a really nice amount of DP from that. Heck, yeah, dude. I lost. Oh, well. Ah, GG, guys. Anyway, uh, let's do one more duel before we call it an episode. Because, man, I am having quite a lot of fun right now. And I also want to get money. So let's duel. Huh? Who are you? Oh, you're a new student? Uh, you want to know my name? Okay, uh, I'm Moses. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Uh, you want a duel? Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna pick a rock. Oh, dang it. Okay. Uh, paper? Dang it. Okay, they get to decide. But, hey. I feel like we'll be fine regardless. Okay, we're going first. So I believe Alexis will be the... Yeah, Alexis will be the one going first. Because, gosh dang it. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so Alexis got Pot of Greed in her, opening, in her opening hand, which is really nice. So, the casual draw two. Okay, now she has all of her fusion crud. <laughs> which I will say is nice, but gosh dang it, where was this last duel? Okay, gonna summon the Skulldog Marin. That might... Yeah, that does not have enough attack points to destroy Etchwall. Y you know, if they actually change the values... Oh... The opponent selects one equipped card from their deck and sends it to the graveyard. Okay. Uh, let's... Oh, right, I only have the one. <laughs> oh, there goes Stimpak. Okay, so I kind of... Okay, I'm debating activating card destruction, but I'm just going to summon my High Tide Gyojin first and then activate it to, first of all, mess up with... This also gives my opponent a good time or a good chance to get rid of something. Okay. I, I got Amphibian Beast, which might come in handy, especially since I have stuff like Waboku, but... First of all, I'm going to switch Edgewall Cyber to attack mode and have my High Tide um, Gyojin attack, do some decent damage, and then Edgewall can attack and activate her special ability, where whenever she attacks, she gains 500 more attack points, which is super nice. Okay, I'll just pass for now. Okay. Spell Absorption, that can be a little bit on the annoying side. And main okay. So what I want to do is okay, I'm just gonna activate Woboku yet, but right now just because I don't want to take too much damage. Yet I'll save Astral Barrier in case I really need it. 
And now Alexis is up. If she draws Blade Skater, that'd be sweet. Uh, great. Okay, I'm going to assume. Yeah, she's going to play Monster Gate. Oh! Oh, just got another Etch Wall. Okay. I was really hoping she'd get her, you know, other monster, but that's fine. Oh. That's annoying! Okay, it'll be fine, though, because now um, Etchwall Cyber can do the same amount of damage she did last turn. Very nice. Okay, their turn. Okay, Dark Factory might be a little bit... Okay, wait, why'd they return two of their more weaker monsters? Uh, these guys are just... Oh, shoot! That is actually rough. Okay, that hurt, but we'll find a way to get past this because the good news is... Oh! But I don't have an equip spell. Yeah, there's no target, so you just wasted a trap card, dude. Anyway, I'm gonna summon Giga Gaga Gigo. So, normally I would tribute Etchwall Cyber, but in this case, since I want her to create Cyber Blader, that's what I want her to do. And I'm just gonna switch Etchwall to attack mode. Have Giga Gaga Gigo attack. I know, tongue twister. That guy's gonna get hit really hard, and now Etchwall will do even more damage. Ha ha! Well done. Just gonna end my turn for now. I doubt they have anything that will be. Yeah, this guy's got nothing. Um, now it's Alexa's turn. When is she gonna use her malevolent malevolent nuzzler? Gosh dang it! Okay, that guy's gonna turn his Polly for some. I guess that was his only target. And Enchanted Javelin. Come on, game! Give me a break! And Ray of Hope! Oh, just add two light monsters to the deck. That's not that good. Okay, anyway, she's gonna end her turn. She's not using the male Malevolent Nuzzler for some gosh dang reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because her AI is brain dead. That's actually the case with a lot of the AI in this game, believe it or not. So, in this case, so I just so I can do a crud ton of damage, I'm gonna just tribute her etch wall because I don't think she cares that much. And summon Amphibian Beast. And for the sake of a certain little bonus, um, I'm just gonna attack with Amphibian Beast directly because if you get their life points to exactly zero, then you're actually able to get some good stuff. Like, then you get a little bonus. It's just like a few um, extra DP points, but hey. It's fine. And, okay. Alexis's turn. Oh, good. She got Sakuretsu. So we're never going to see your Blade Skater, are we? Well, are we? Oh my gosh. They want to drag out this duel in this episode. Gosh dang you, nibble Look, Nimbles. Thankfully, I think they only have the... Never mind. They have more. Yeah. Oh, wait. Never mind. They don't. Okay, that's good. Bad news is they're back in the running. And Heart of the Underdog is going to keep going up. Oh, good. We don't have to worry about Heart of the Underdog yet. Uh, excuse me. Um, okay, respect pay. During the respective turns, each player must show their entire hand. Fair enough. I'm just going to set Yomi's ship face down and have my... Yeah, I'm going to just... I don't care about the bonus anymore now. I just want to beat... I just want to finish this duel. And have my Giga Gaga Gigo attack. Stinging tongue twisters. It's funny, because remember that episode in GX Season 2 when uh, Jaden fought, like, a game show dude? Or, like, a guy who, like, did a whole game show duel. And he had to say all three of the Gaga Gigo's names and, you know, stinging tongue twister. Oh, come on! Now she gets Blade Skater? Oh, uh, man. I really wanted to see... Um, Cyber Blader, but oh well. It's fine. Because these guys are finally going to go down. Jeez. Don't they know that life points don't matter in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore? <laughs> uh, I feel sad now. And that's game. Nice try, guys. Uh, I lost. Well done, Alexis. And, okay, we got some nice DP from that as well. Very nice. Oh, you beat me. I knew I'd lose. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself, dude. All right. But, anyway, since we're going to have a lot more Tag Duel Sundays, 
I'm just gonna probably just head back to my um, room really quick. Because I plan on doing like two duels every Sunday for this. So, yeah. Anyway, let's just leave the special site. Goodbye! And now it is Monday. So guys, that's actually going to wrap up this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Beginning of Destiny. In the next episode, we're going to pull some more booster packs and have, I don't know, just do whatever dumb crud we can in this school. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye! You did